What's up guys, Lord Tezen here, back again with another video and today we are looking at the Oppo Reno 6 5G. I've had this set up for the last 6 hours and I think the best part to start this is going to be through the unboxing. So here goes. Now, let's segue to the design aspect of the Reno 6 5G. Number one, straight off the bat, is that chameleon shifty changing gradient color. I've been a fan of this. This was the same shade, same architecture in the Reno 5 that I reviewed a couple of months ago, and it's made it to here. This is Aurora Blue or something. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. And the biggest striking design. The biggest change um, from the Reno 5 to the Reno 6 is the flat edges of the phone, almost like an iPhone 12 um, inspired design. And I'm kind of digging it. The phone sits really nicely in my hand. It feels really nice and solid. I know this is pretty cliche terminology to define a phone, but I'm kind of digging the squared of edges, the flat edges of the phone. Up front, you get a 6.43 inch flat. 90 hertz refresh rate super AMOLED display which is plenty of room and real estate to um, for media consumption but I'm gonna get to that in a bit on the left side is your volume rocker turn the phone below is your SIM card slot your USB type C port your speaker and a power button on the right side and that's your lot it's kind of a bummer to not see um, at this price point because this Reno 6 5G is gonna set you back $590 and it's kind of a bummer to not see stereo speakers on here when the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro, which costs less, comes with stereo speakers and a headphone jack for less. And okay, let me just put this out as a disclaimer now. In this impressions video, you're gonna see me compare the Reno 6 5G a lot to the Redmi Note 10 Pro, okay? Now that's because they're mid ranges in the same market, targeting the same people. And this has got a lot of convincing to do if I'm gonna have to throw my SIM card in here and rock this as my uh, phone for the next couple of months. I'm just putting that out there. At the back, we get that um, camera bump. It's a bit raised, meaning this thing will rock on top of a table. And uh, slapping the TP case that comes with the phone itself sort of helps with the rocking, but not that much. Right, so let's talk about the hardware specs of the Reno 6 5G. They're pretty impressive and we're gonna get a bit into detail later on in the video or in the review, but here goes. The phone comes powered by the MediaTek 905G chipset. You can pick it up in either the 128 gigs, 8 gigabytes of RAM configuration, or the 256 gigs and 12 gigabytes of RAM configurations. The main camera at the back is made of a triple camera setup, a 64 megapixel wide angle lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. At the front is a single 32 megapixel wide selfie camera. Now, these specs are pretty expected, pretty normal for mid-range device so this here really has a lot of convincing to do performance wise okay now going into this i've already started moving uh switching my life to this all my apps have downloaded to this 
and I'm really eager to see how this is gonna perform under gaming, okay? Pretty eager. Is it going to overheat? Because I don't think I've experienced the MediaTek 905G chip yet. So I'm pretty eager to see if I'm gonna experience any performance bottlenecks. So far, so good. I haven't really started putting it through its paces yet. This is just a first impressions video, but I'm especially keen on how battery life on this phone is going to behave. Yeah, here's the thing, yeah. Again, comparison with the Redmi Note 10 Pro, I'm coming from a 5020 milliamp hour battery, which could easily get me through two days of use under normal usage with close to eight hours of screen on time. Here, I'm switching to a 4,300 milliamp hour battery. Now, given the current specs that this phone has to power, um, uh, the biggest uh, power draw being the screen, it's a 90 hertz refresh rate screen, not like the 120 hertz I'm coming from on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I take it, rather I expect that battery life on here is going to be close to, if not at par with uh, the Redmi Note 10 Pro. But that's something left for experiment that I'm gonna uh, be carrying out in the in a, in a couple of moments, yeah? And something this phone has going for it is that 65 watt Superbook fast charger. I'm eager to see how fast this phone is going to go from zero to 100. And I'm not yet, as of now, quite sure of the quoted zero to 100 uh, charging period. So I'm gonna leave that for testing uh, by myself. Now, the Oppo Reno 6 doesn't look to be packing any shy hardware or specs, okay? Now I'm eager going into this to see how it's going to manage those eight gigabytes of RAM. Oh, by the way, uh, here I've got the 128 gigabytes, eight gigabytes RAM model. I'm eager to see how Oppo's software optimization and processes are going to utilize that eight gigabytes of RAM. Is the phone going to randomly start shutting apps down, booting speeds of games I'm playing? In terms of the camera, am I going to have to wait for photos to be processed? There's a lot going on here with that hardware that the Oppo Reno 6 5G has to live up to. And I'm pretty keen to put this phone to its bases. The Oppo Reno 6 5G comes with Android 11 straight out of the box with Oppo's Color OS slapped on top. I'm not a big fan of Oppo's Color OS. I kind of feel like it's too finicky. I feel like the UI, the user interface is bland. I feel like the settings app has got a ton of things going on at the same time. And I'm eager to see if this phone is gonna change that for me. So far, so good. The UI is super responsive. I've not had any stutter or lag on this phone as at now. So a lot is really gonna start happening once I start putting this phone um, to its bases. Now that brings us to the cameras on the Oppo Reno 6 5G. Here's the thing, yeah, I've had history with Oppo cameras, okay? I'm not a big fan of how they oversaturate colors, how their beauty mode is super artificial, and how you can't really ever turn beauty mode off 100%. And I'm coming with those thoughts into this, expecting to see this change those. Am I making sense here? Let's back this up to the camera specs, the camera hardware, okay? You get a 64 megapixel f1.7 wide angle lens, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide lens, a 2 megapixel f2.4 macro lens. At the front is a 32 megapixel f2.4 wide angle lens. Camera quality is okay. I've not really put the camera through its paces yet, so we can't have a conclusive idea on camera, image, or video quality as of now. But so far, first impressions are it's okay. I still get that tinge of artificialness, beauty mode, really not turning off all the way on here, but I'm gonna put this through more and more tests and I'll uh, get you guys more and more results. I'm actually interested. Would you guys like me to put the Oppo Reno 6 5G against the Redmi Note 10 Pro camera in a full camera comparison video? If you're digging that, if that's something you'd be interested to see, let me know down in the comments below and I'm gonna make that video happen for you guys. That's basically it, a relatively quick, short video, I hope. But I'm really interested to see how this holds up um, in my pocket for the next couple of days as I test it out. Especially those cameras. Are they cameras I can switch to to start vlogging on, making videos on, making content on? TikTok, by the way, if you don't follow me on TikTok, head over there. Am I going to utilize the full performance capabilities of this phone? Am I going to experience any bottlenecks? Am I going to experience any inconsistencies in the user experience that make me miss my Redmi Note 10 Pro. 
that's a, I'm, go I'm going into this with a lot of expectations yeah i know expectations are thief of joy but with the reno 6 5g i just can't help it anyways lord has in here signing out i need to rest i uh, it's like i took a break my body forgot how to make videos how to push hard i need a break and uh Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thumbs up if you did like this video. Share it with your friends. I really appreciate it. Road to 5,000. We are actually going to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Yeah. Peace out.